Hello everybody, this is Goldwalker back with another solo run. Uh, today we have Bowie the Clefable. Check him out. So Starman. A uh, very basic like four good moves move set I have. I thought about running Sing, but I just did not think it would come up. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna you can see my playtime there if you really want to. Let me make sure I have all my stuff. Uh, enough full restores to outlast, I think, every apocalypse. I think we're good. Let's see, we're gonna get these to the top. Come on. There you go. Alright, let's get it. Uh, I don't know why Clefable is such a high level. I don't know what its XP gain, like, what its growth rate is. But, hmm. I'm not complaining, it's gonna make this a breeze. Uh, let's see. Lorelei. It feels so good to have someone who isn't scared of Lorelei. It's really liberating. It's like, don't even gotta worry about it. It's like, oh, that's beautiful. It's the most beautiful fucking thing in the world right there, man. <sighs> Alright, away with you. Slow, bro. You'll never guess. You'll never guess what, I'm, what move I'm going to use. You, you could never. You could never. My mind. My mind is an enigma wrapped in a puzzle. Wrapped in that fucking thing from the glass onion. That weird box thing. Away with you. Alright. Die. Be gone. <clears throat> Oi. Alright. There we go. One down. Yes, how dare how dare I? How dare I? This is a children's game. You should be used to this. Anyway. Yes, Bruno, Bruno. It's power, yes, yes. Psychic probably just kills him, right? It's Onyx. Speaking of Onyx, uh, that... Uh, the same day this video goes up, maybe the night before, I'm not sure yet, but there's gonna be a poll deciding the order of the next couple solo runs uh, after Wednesday, which is Starmie. Uh, that the th Onyx is actually one of the options. Uh, let's see. Uh, the other two are Electrode and Kangaskhan, and we'll see how that goes. We'll see who's coming up first. Uh, the first one of them will be coming up on Friday, though. Uh, at the time of this recording. I don't know uh, when anyone will be watching these later. Anyway. I gotta say, anyone who's, like, burnt out on Nuzlocks and, like, kind of the stress of them and how annoying they can be... I would really recommend giving Solo Run to try. They're so chill. Usually. Depending on what you're doing it with. There's something very relaxing and kind of like... It's like being a kid again. Running in with like one overpowered Pokemon and then just kind of running through everything. Banish this shadow to the fucking. In the name of the moon. Oh, I should have named it. I should have named Cl the Clefable Usagi after, uh, what's her name? Sailor Moon. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. Bye. God. I'm almost threatened. And away he goes. This Gengar might actually live the Psychic. Because uh, Gengar's just got a very good special stat. Yeah. Called it. Ah, but the special drop will kind of cinch that. I don't even got to go for Psychic here. They really gave Psychic a 30% chance to drop special. That's crazy. I gotta say, though, like, playing through RBY uh, so much, like, has given me kind of an appreciation for the design and how a lot of the stuff seems very, is very deliberate, uh, the design of the region. And you can kind of see how it derives from stuff like Dragon Quest. Uh, I might make, I might work on, like, a video essay someday about that, but that's neither here nor there. Speaking of dragons, brilliant segue, brilliant segue, uh, here's, here's the guy, that's the dragon man, it's him. further on that topic, I think a lot of the balance of Gen 1 was very clearly made with single player in mind. Like, the multiplayer battling was probably not, like, how do I put this? It wasn't a last minute edition, obviously, but that wasn't, like, the core experience people were thinking about. They were thinking about when they were designing the game. They were thinking. And so, like, the Pokemon you encounter early on are like early game party members in an RPG. It's like you can train them, but there's often late game ones that you can add in that are absolutely crazy. And like stronger Pokemon are often gated behind rarity and uh, difficulty to capture. It's like secret party members, like that kind of thing. Or like in Fire Emblem, how you have like units with like really difficult recruit conditions sometimes, but the idea is they're supposed to be crazy. Of course, in Fire Emblem that doesn't usually work. Uh, no one, like, nobody's ever recruited Carla in FE7 for like her statistical wonder. They've recruited her because they wanted to see what it was like to recruit Carla. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the right one. Yeah, I think she's the one where, like, you need Bartra to be a certain level... Or, a certain level, and, he need, and then he needs to do combat with her and live. And they both need to live, that is. Damn it, Bowie. I don't know, I've never recruited Carla in FE7 because I don't have fucking time for that. Whoa, crit. Alright, alright. I look away for one second and you've decimated the pangolin population. Uh, this is actually a recreation of what happened to Antarctica. Uh, you know, used to be a tropical climate. Not so much anymore. Well, that was a long time ago. And dipshit. I 
81, handy. Really just giving Bowie the big numbers. Almost 300 HP. Oh, that's annoying. Why'd you do that? I don't deserve this. I've never done anything wrong in my life. Why would you do this to me? Anyway. Ooh, that might hurt. That might hurt a lot. Alright, maybe not. You know, I'm kind of completely fine with him using that. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Don't you fucking dare. <gasps> okay! Alright. That's horrifying. This is why I don't like fighting Jolteon as the rival's, like, final Pokemon, unless I'm using something that resists it. Because it can just, like, fish for crits with thunder, and it's the scariest thing in the world. I've come of age, wow. Can I vote now? I wonder how v hmm. 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 I'm wondering if uh, well okay, I should actually like say things instead of just hmm. But I'm thinking about like what's the political structure of the Pokemon world like? Cause like the Elite Four obviously aren't like a standard government body. But they are some form of law enforcement, it would seem. And I'm wondering what their deal is. Like we see Lance in uh, the in in Gold and Silver, we see Lance like taking on Team Rocket, and then we even see someone in somewhere in like Cerulean City in Gen One. They mentioned that like, uh, why haven't the Elite Four done anything about Team Rocket yet? I'm wondering, like, what role do the Elite Four and the Champion really have? Are they, like, somehow involved with the government? And, or is it just, like, they help out because... Or they're asked to help out because they are the, the strongest trainers in the region, usually. I don't know. Much to think about while I skip the credits. We're so back. We're so back, everyone. All right. Here we are. Let's get a look at the chick. Oh, fuck me, I forgot he almost died. There we go. Alright, let's get a look at the chimp for real this time. There he is. It's, it's, it's David Bowie. There he is. Uh. Got some good numbers. This is this that sure is a clefable. It's got really balanced numbers, but none of them especially impressive. Alright. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you to everyone for watching. Look forward to Star Me on Wednesday and then uh, the Twitter poll will be up Monday. I don't know what time yet. We'll see. But my Twitter should be in the description. Uh, let's see. If you have any suggestions for future videos, future solo run content, I'm always looking to listen. Once I've made my way through Gen 1, like all the fully evolved guys, I'll probably take a bit of a break. Like, but once that break is over, I'll be doing Gen 2. I've done a few off-screen already, well, not off-screen, but like, not without recording them. But I do want to record the rest, because I think the red fight is really cool. Uh, after that... 
We'll see. Uh, that'll probably be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.